okay hello friends today i will show you how to simulate diffusion equation in 1d by python programming in your computer so i am shubhadeep from iit kanpur physics department so in physics diffusion is very common and uh, the diffusion equation we encounter lot in different aspects of physics so first i will show in the right portion you can see that what is diffusion equation so diffusion equation is here and diffusion of what diffusion can be uh, of uh, the temperature that heat actually diffuses and you can just compute because of the heat diffusion you can compute the different temperature in different space and space point and time uh, it can be concentration diffusion of particles actually give a rise to the different uh, concentration in different space points and time so this is the diffusion equation and the u the unknown variable u is a function of x and t where x is basically the space points and t is the time now capital d is the diffusion coefficient this means actually how fast diffusion will occur so if diffusion coefficient is very high then mm, diffusion will actually will be faster and if diffusion coefficient is low then it will mix up slowly slowly and that's all so in computer actually in modern science we actually solve a lot of equations in computer this diffusion is very uh, fast step to learn solving pdes that is partial differential equation where more than one independent variables are there to solve one unknown variable so there are lot of uh, methods so in my talk i will show the two in methods two methods will be the finite difference method this is the first one and the second one is spectral method with fourier basis i will explain the spectral method in another video so for this video this is the finite difference method method so time scale is very important in solving any physics equations because if you don't know in which time scale it is happening the physics is happening then you cannot simulate you cannot choose the proper time that in which interval you should uh, you know, look at to see the difference or to see the evolution of the unknown variable okay so in this case if you do just a dimension analysis so if you have some dimension to, from the both side it will cancel but the time scale that is here from here you can just compare it the time scale will be dependent on the diffusion coefficient and the length scale so from here you can just do a simple dimensional analysis and you will get the time scale of diffusion will be l square by d capital d d is the diffusion coefficient and it will be required in simulating this equation okay so when we will choice will will have to make a choice of uh, in which time scale we will simulate these things we have to understand this thing this matter of time scale okay so first i talk about finite difference method first discretize the space so if you discretize the space and you can just calculate the second derivative using the definition because when you are solving the diffusion equation there is one second derivative in space okay so we have to compute this and next we have to integrate in time so first discretize your space and if you write like this this is the ith point and this is the x the 
value of uh, the space point is x position is the xi this is the xi plus 1 xi minus 1 here is this will be the xi minus 2 and this will be the xi i plus 2 and corresponding u values are here so in the ith point u value is ui and similarly this is u i plus 1 and so on when this delta x delta x means what the difference between two x points okay these are we if we take just uh, equally spaced grid one degree then this delta x is constant and uh, for every that x i plus one minus x i this is the delta x the difference between two space points when this is tends to zero tends to not exactly zero because in your computer you have finite points must be uh, non-zero quantity this will be but th this is small okay so then you can just do an approximate derivative in this space so you you can just write that first derivative of du dx is equals to ui plus 1 minus ui divided by delta x and similarly if you just uh, do it this is at the ith point this derivative is calculated at the ith point using forward scheme forward difference scheme and if you do the same thing in the i minus 1th point then you can just and uh, take the difference again you can just define the derivative then you can just calculate it will be easy to see that how double derivative is calculated so double derivative will be computed using just replace this u by du dx so okay so then you can just write it in terms of u so double derivative of u in space can be written as and this is the very standard definition central difference scheme of uh, double derivative so you can just do it in terms of u okay u and x that's all so x means delta x actually the grid size so at fixed at a fixed time you can compute the space derivative of that unknown u okay so now your at some fixed point fixed time so you can just compute the double derivative at different space points so now if you have n number of space points then you can just um, compute n numbers of equations where the x is fixed and at that fixed x point you can just compute this one this is a double derivative and then you have to integrate over time and now just see the time integration i will show you the easiest one that euler forward scheme so time derivative for a fixed space point x whatever i said that your this derivative is computed at some fixed x okay so now the time derivative here so why I have written this bit, uh, only d not del because your x point is fixed the space point is fixed so only time can vary so then your time advancement can be written as by this equation okay so at x point the time will be t plus delta t where delta t is some positive value so at some advanced time it will be is equal is equals to u x t plus delta t multiplied by d u d t at some fixed space point so now the initial condition is what in to solve this kind of pds that diff diffusion equation in this case so you have to you have to have some you have to know that unknown u values for all the space points and uh, it will be at some initial time okay initial time t then we get the time adverse advancement for the diffusion equation by this and i have now written as x i because i am computing for this 
x ith point okay so this will be the value of u at t plus delta t time at some point x i and instead of this du dt i can write capital d into du d2 u dx2 and that is written by this and uh, here you can just uh, write in terms of all the derivatives in terms of u's only so you know all the u's at some time here so for a fixed time you can just come you have all the u's you are choosing this delta t and delta x and you have to choose this delta t accordingly depending on this capital d okay so as you can see that this is the um, this value will be the of the order of u this value is of the order of u this third bracketed portion is of the order of u then this capital d delta t divided by delta x square it must be of the order of 1 and if you want to resolve it properly then this value must be of the order of point 0.1 or something like that at least 10 times lesser than 1 and then you can just resolve it properly you can see how diffusion is happening in over this time now in partial differential equation it is very important to know the boundary conditions so i will talk about the three boundary conditions here one is dirichlet condition where the variable itself variable u is specified at the left boundary and the right boundary for example i have written this uh, left boundary this is u1 and right boundary it is u2 similarly neumann condition where the derivative derivative is specified at the boundary points okay so this is the example of uh, neumann condition where the left boundary is basically at it is specified that some value known value v1 okay and this is some known value v2 at the right boundary and this is uh, here also this u1 and u2 are the known values okay these are inputs for your simulation and another thing is very nice to consider the periodic boundary condition periodic boundary condition is very easy to realize suppose in one dimension your space points are like just a chain linear chain now think it like this you can just uh, do it in your home that just join the first point and the last point of a linear chain okay just then you will you can realize that it will be just a periodic thing and because this is to realize the thing that the value of u will repeat in space periodically so if i have a period your domain is suppose of the uh, length capital l then it will be periodic in space with some period that is capital L after capital L length it will be the same value as it was before so then I will talk about spectral methods in my next video but now I will show you how to solve this equation by hand using Python I will um, show you in Python okay so first discretizing the space let just uh, okay so now let me uh, import all the libraries important libraries so import numpy as np okay now import I need to plot the thing so import matplotlib for the plotting dot pi plot has plt let's say now I want to just discretize the space so let me take it like this 
np dot lin space lin space will actually calculate do the uh, do a linear space it will create a linear space from let's say 0 to l with some nx number of points so i have not defined what is l and what is nx so let me define it suppose l, l is equals to uh, 10 and nx is equals to let's say 101 okay or 128 this will be the good thing and let uh, us uh, take the space minus l to l okay it will be just uh, symmetric it will be nice so now my initial condition is np dot exponential of minus x square this is simply a gaussian uh, gaussian function it is my initial condition now i have to discretize i have discretized already I have discretized the space already and for every point I have considered okay so not y let's write like the picture u let's see. now I have u okay for every x points now I have to integrate over time okay so for okay so let me just show you that uh, okay so for i in range let's write nt so let's nt suppose 100 times i want to 100 steps i want to simulate okay now what is my dx dx is equals to suppose x1 minus x0 okay so x1 minus x0 is my dx so this is the difference between two so i is equals let put just i equals to 0 then it will you will get the delta x so this is the delta x or i have written it as uh, dx okay now my capital d is my diffusion coefficient let's write it like one okay so now my dt will be but dt will be dx square divided by capital D and 0 0.1 multiplied by this because I want to uh, make it like this as 0.1 order okay I have just make it 10 times lesser than capital um, yeah so yeah so what this is my diffusion time scale so l is here the dx is the l so l square divided by capital d multiplied by point n so i am just uh, resolving my time scale of the order of 10 times lesser than the actual time scale of diffusion then i can see the diffusion otherwise i cannot see if you if i choose exactly equal to the uh, to the time scale of the diffusion or if i choose dt greater than otherwise your code will be unstable also now okay so i have chosen dt now i have to integrate over all the space points but just uh, for the implementation of boundary conditions just don't do thus uh, the don't write it for the boundary point so for excluding them you can just write it like this nx minus 1 so it will cover all the points except the boundaries okay and now you have to just write it like this so this will actually uh, the index is going from 1 to nx minus 2 okay so this means uh, 1 to nx minus 2 means just nx minus 2 number of points okay because uh, u0 is the first left boundary and u nx minus 1 is the 
right boundary so this plus delta t multiplied by capital D multiplied by the third bracketed things that u so here all the index will be more than one one more than these indexes indices so this will be 2 to nx so it will go from 2 to nx minus 1 minus 2 into u this will be the same as the this nx minus 1 1 colon nx minus 1 plus u this will be one less so this will be from 0 to sorry 0 to nx minus 2 so it will go up to 0 to nx minus 3 actually so this is the convention in python so okay so and dx square divided by that's all now you have to specify the boundary condition for let us just uh, take the boundary condition as uh, u uh, both side is u is 0 let's say this is the Dirichlet boundary condition because I have to specify u left and u right okay so let's write it like this boundary is equals to equals to let Dirichlet then it must be this equals to 0 and and this is my choice 0 is my choice only you can write something else for different problem L if if your boundary is equals to equals to Neumann again let's uh, just uh, think about it that if I ch choose that v1 is equals to 0 and v2 is equals to 0 then that means u not u are all u0 is equals to actually u1 what is already calculated and u nx minus 1 is equals to u nx minus 2 it is also calculated okay and for periodic boundary condition lf boundary is equals to equals to periodic then how will you compute it okay so for that case just copy it okay copy first so in this case you have to write the proper indices here So let, let us delete all these indices and first let me calculate the, for the zero point the first point left boundary so it is zero it will be this will be zero and first think about this is one because you basically this is the plus one index so this is u i plus one so if i is equals to zero then it will be one but in the what will be the minus so in python it is if you write just minus one it will work but for understanding just write it like this nx minus one because if you just join the linear chain and make it a circular chain then it is just if you just look at the left of your zero that means the last point of your array u array again just think in the same way okay then again this will be the not to zero then this will be nx minus one this will be the nx minus one similarly nx minus one and if you just nx minus one plus one that will be the first point that means zero index and this will be nx minus two so this is how we actually computed the u values at the boundaries now i have to specify my boundary uh, uh, variable so 
for first let me just write like this okay okay now I will plot for two snaps okay let me just write like this plt dot plot uh, x comma u okay let me make it color blue sorry blue and after some hundred steps so it will be like x comma u again and it will in red let's say okay now i have to show it okay so this is my code okay let me run it from the terminal uh, let me just uh, go python codes and python diffusion.py let me check does it work or not if it is yes now we can see that diffusion is actually happening okay so this is actually diffused little bit if you simulate it for more times that means uh, like let make it thousand okay nt is thousand that means it will go for more time so it is spread more okay so this is how you have just computed this in the y-axis it is u and in the x-axis your x is there it is simulating from minus 10 to plus 10 space domain and it is actually working perfectly fine and you can see that as I have used the Dirichlet condition it is 0 and 0 here also so it is not but let me check once that how it is changing and you can see that it will it will change actually okay for Newman boundary condition yeah but uh, this is very um, uh, very you cannot actually recognize this by uh, from your eye observation but actually it will uh, it will actually work okay so for that let me just make it like this let make it this yes now you can see that this is um, this at this point it is actually not going to the actually you can just uh, for this case actually you can just write it like this so instead of the uh, exponential or the this is the Gaussian function you can just write it like this sine of 2 into pi pi np dot pi into x divided by actually you can just write it like this 2 pi x divided by 2l actually your space domain is 2 pi so it will be you can just see the difference now okay oh, oh okay 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 so how why this is happening because I am just yeah I am using the uh, minus also okay so okay just uh, let me make it the make the domain space domain is 0 to l then it will be 2 pi by l so it will be the nice function that is o oh, phi uh, mm -hmm. okay so Two pi by L, so two pi x so zero for zero it is zero. Okay, okay, sorry. So it must be pi by L. So then it will be the first only one node. Okay, just yeah. So yeah. Now you can see that in initial at initial point time it is like this and it is at zero. But when you are using Neumann condition, then it is showing the 
that the derivative is zero actually not the va variable itself but if you just change it again to the uh, Dirichlet condition then you can see that it is it is diffused but the at the boundary points it is still zero okay so in my next video I will show you how to do it in spectral method. Thank you.